Hey. She knows the menu. Do we even get tickets yet? Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> What is up, thrill seekers? So today we are at King's Dominion. Oh yes, it is our last day um, or last park on our little trip. Um, we went to California and then here to Virginia. And uh, yeah, that's, this is gonna be, oh, there it goes Dominator. But uh, this is gonna be our last park of the trip. Super excited for this park. I'm excited to get back onto uh, Twisted Timbers, which is one of my favorites, as well as I-305, of course, and um, excited to see the volcano construction, uh, see if there's any, any new stuff that's happening. Oh, and also, I forgot, I forgot about this um, until just now because a monster truck just kind of drove by in the park. It is the Monster Jam week for um, King's Dominion. We're gonna catch it uh, here. So, so yeah, we might we might take a look around in there. But I'm just super excited to to ride all these awesome rides at this park. And let's let's head in. The Monster Jam event is currently going on. Might check it out a little bit later or something, but or yeah, Monster Jam Thunder Alley. And uh, yeah, it seems, it seems pretty awesome. Uh, don't really have too much in like interest in doing it, but it looks pretty cool. Anyways, let's head into the park. Needless to say, it is insanely crowded today. Um, I don't know if you can see, but back there, a line to just to get into the park, like all the way back there. So, yeah, it might be a good idea to get fast lane today. Anyways, um, here's the King's Dominion sign, famous Eiffel Tower, and the um, fountains and everything pretty cool to see. Anyways, might go to Dominator first just because it's literally right there. So let's do it. Let's, uh, I think it's time to go now because we're going to leave the park. No, okay. We're, we're, let's go to Dominator. We got our fast lane and everything. That is a beautiful picture. Anyways, might take a trip to the top of the Eiffel Tower at some point today. That would be nice. Anyways, do uh, dominate. Do Monster. Monster. Yeah. Pretty cool. Alright, let's do Dominator. Yeah. Definitely, for sure, a good idea. Like, look at that. So, in terms of my thoughts on Dominator, it is actually very, very awesome. It gets a lot of hate for being like rough, and the ending is uh, like, it definitely has a B&M rattle to it. Um, but I actually didn't really bang my head until the ending corkscrews. Definitely one of my favorite B&M floorless coasters. Uh, the Cobra roll was surprisingly smooth, which was great, and really the whole whole first half was insanely smooth. Um, there were definitely great hang time and air time moments, which I was not expecting. And yeah, it was overall a great ride. So we're gonna go to our next ride, which is probably gonna be Twisted Timbers. Yeah. 
taking a look around Monster Jam Thunder Alley. Uh, there's Megalodon. We might take a ride on one if the line isn't too, too long, but yeah. There's Great White the Ride. And then uh, there's another one over here for some reason. Don't know why there's two of them, but okay. Uh, and then Grave Digger, I guess, is over here. So, Dominator. Guys, I finally made it to Six Flags Great Adventure. It's been a long time coming, but I finally made it here. I'm excited to ride El Toro. Um, it, the ride experience is really going to be crazy, and uh, it, should, it should be should be super fun. Hey, it's the Smiler. Fans of my channel will know that I'm actually afraid of heights, so this is a little bit terrifying. This, this kind of very terrifying. Even though I've been on Top Thrill Dragster, and I love Top Thrill Dragster, I still hate heights. Yes, I know I'm weird. Also, Anaconda. Every single person on that train is regretting their decisions right now. We might get on. Uh, whoa. We might. Uh, we might get on this water slide over here, as uh, my dad called it. <laughs> We have made it to the best thing that there is in this park, jukebox dinner. But hello second is Twisted Timbers. No, the so thing let's right do here. it. <laughs> diner, dinner, diner. Dinner has two ends. Uh, uh, it's close enough. Um, <laughs> Twisted Timbers. Yeah. Hello. Something I like is how it doesn't have a, uh, a spring on it, so it like, it just, it stays open, which is different than most lockers, which have like a spring that immediately springs closed. Anyways, I can still bring my phone because I think they, they let me now, which is always nice to see. And uh, let's, let's do it. Yeah. It's the floating tractor. That makes absolutely no sense. Anyways, there it goes. an awesome ride we're gonna do it again for sure um, but yeah that's a great ride definitely one of my favorites that where is it there we go that barrel roll drop is an amazing transition from hang time to air time and the three back-to-back -back flow jector hills are great all the inversions are great just just all all around great so we're gonna definitely do it a couple times uh, yeah so as I already said with my video on the brake run um, that is an amazing ride uh, the second ride that we got we did it twice the second ride um, I got an insane amount of airtime I had so much room um, especially on those like three back-to-back -back flojector hills are awesome always awesome um, the only complaint that I have is really the restraints, just in terms of the shin guards. They really, really suck. Um, if the if they didn't have shin guards, then it would it would you know it would make it would be better, a lot better, um, for sure, 20 million times better. But they do, and it's it's terrible. But um, anyways, yeah, uh, that's really my only complaint is the shin guards. And that's really my complaint with many RMCs, especially kind of newer ones. So, yeah, anyways, we're gonna go to Grizzly. Yay. Um, I remember this to be not great, but I wanna ride it again so that 
I can like make sure that it's not good, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go there. Grizzly, is there a fast pass entrance? If not, that's okay, there's like nobody, but ah, uh, doesn't look like it, that's okay. There's literally nobody in line, so it's all good. Guess we'll see. Oh, airtime. Yeah. Whee! There it goes. Literally half of the car is empty. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Did you see the wait for Dominator? I'm gonna do like a side-by-side -side comparison real quick. Yeah. Side by side comparison of Dominator versus this. this. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go and not a wheel seat, but towards the back, because you know don't want to die, but want to get still air time. So. Yeah. Okay, so we did Grizzly. Um, I oh snap, it's very loud music, but. I did Grizzly, or we did Grizzly, and it was not very good at all. Um, it was insanely rough. Every single turn, I ended up like smashing my leg into the restraint, and it hurt very bad. Um, yeah, I would not recommend it at all. I also did Windseeker, which was okay. Um, I had never done a Windseeker before, just Star Flyers. So it was pretty interesting to do a wind seeker. Um, not saying that I enjoyed it very much, because of course my fear of heights. But it was, uh, it was, it was okay. Um, I'm definitely getting over my fear of very slowly but surely. I think we're gonna go to Woodstock Express, which is a new credit for me. So yeah, we'll see you guys once we are there. Candy Apple Grove. Oh yeah. Hashtag for the credit. Yeah. Oh snap, there's the great pumpkin coaster. Highly doubt that they'll let me on that, but it's okay. All I want to do is Woodstock Express. Hopefully they don't stay for us. It's always a gamble on these guys, you know? Yeah, the restraint is always, always a tough one on this. It can really staple you, as you can see. That was insanely intense. Probably some of the best airtime I've ever gotten on any coaster. Way better than uh, Twisted Timbers for sure. Um, probably in my top 10, no. Um, it's a pretty good family coaster. I mean, um, honestly, Woodstock Express is, is pretty decent. Not anything too special, um, but it's, it's just, it's very, it's a, it's a pretty decent ride. We are going to go go into the jungle yeah so we're gonna go into the safari village place thing where we can find two car themed rides as well as a snow themed ride um, and what used to be a, uh, a volcano is now a pile of dirt yeah fun times in the uh, in the in the jungle Okay, let's uh, oh we also can find a snake. So we're gonna ride, a, we're gonna ride the snake. Let's, let's go ride the snake, the slippery snake. Guys, deforestation is a real issue. You got this, uh, this, uh, this plant here, this uh, factory here, right next to the giraffe's natural habitat. Oh man. This is, this is, this is not okay, guys. So, and, and, Anaconda, I keep saying and, Aconda, but Anaconda does not have a fast pass line. And look at that line. Nah, I ain't waving, I ain't waiting in that. 
it's literally almost all the way to the entrance. It's like an hour line for a crappy ride. So, instead of getting the credit, which I guess I'll have to wait until next year, instead, I'm going to, or we are going to go on I-305. Actually, probably fly to fear first and then I-305. I really do hope I, uh, Flight of Fear has a fast pass though, because that would suck if it doesn't. Poltergeist in a box, so let's do it. Oh wow. Oh, there's theming. Yay. Finally. Oh. So we just did Poltergeist in a Box, and it was not as good as Poltergeist Not in a Box. Um, <laughs> it, act it had a mid-course brake run, which was kind of weird. I didn't really know, I don't really know how to react to that. Uh, the restraint sucked. I feel like, I, did, I don't know, Poltergeist was just better for some reason, in my opinion. Um, anyways, we are going to go on Fury 305. And uh, it should be super, super fun. Time for Dale Earnhardt the ride. Let's do it. I'm excited to get back on this. Should be fun. Uh, So we just did Coaster Frenzy the ride um, and my dad right here, his name is Micah, he actually runs the Coaster Frenzy channel because um, he thinks that uh, I-305 is his number one coaster. Yeah, uh, he says uh, that Steel Vengeance is what? Number two? Numero dos. So, uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's his opinion. You know my opinion. Actually, you probably don't. But um, I, I, lo I love the ride. It's a great ride. It's not an amazing ride because um, I don't really, I'm not an intensity type of person. I'm more of an airtime person, floater airtime person. Um, so yeah, I still like Twisted Timbers better. Um, it's definitely in my top 20 or 15. I know I just triggered a whole bunch of people, but it's okay. And uh, they go? yeah, that's just my opinion on it. We're definitely gonna ride it again though, so yeah. So we just did I-305. Um, I can't think of any other funny names to call it. So um, we just got off of I-305 another like, what, two times, twice? Yeah, um, and we did it in the back row. Um, I have to say it's actually better in the back because you do get a lot of airtime on that um, on the drop as well as the first hill after the first turn um, and then the trim brakes don't feel like they slow you down as much in the back obviously they slow you down just as much but it doesn't feel like it we're going to go back to Twisted Timbers get some rides on that get some rides on other things if we end up riding um, other coasters then I will um, definitely let you guys know. Actually, I kind of want to do Avalanche because I have not done that in like three years. So, you want to do it? All right, we're going to do Avalanche. Yeah. I um, have not done that in a couple years. So, um, really since the first time that we were at this park. So, I'm excited to get back on it. Let's see how it compares to La Vibora. Probably not good good or sorry probably a lot better than that coaster um but we'll see i guess so yeah let's ride it are you supposed to be able to refill your knott's berry farm uh refillable cups here at king's dominion probably not 
Are they? Are they? Oh yeah, I mean it is a Cedar Fair Park, but I just don't know if they're Boom. <laughs> I don't know if they're supposed to. Um, but but do, but are they uh, are they letting us? Yes. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. <laughs> this is my the first time that I've seen this. Um, man. Hey, you want to go on volcano? You know, it's it's. <laughs> we should go on volcano. Yeah, definitely, bro. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Let's go. Let's go on Volcano. Yeah, look at Volcano over there. It's literally not focusing. Why? Oh. Okay. This, this isn't working. Volcano. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go on Avalanche. Fortunately, there's a fast pass lane because... Oh my god. Oh, rip focus. Oh my god. I ain't waiting on that. So we go in this way. You'll go on that one. All right, let's walk, ride this water slide. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's ride this water slide. Water slide. Yeah. So we did Avalanche, and it was definitely way better than La Vibra. La Vibra or La Vibora? I don't know. Some people say it different ways. Um, anyways. That's pretty much going to be the end of this vlog. We're not really doing, we're not riding any new rides um, after this, I don't think. Oh, that's copyright music. Anyways, yeah, so uh, that's really going to be it. I will do a proper outro near the front of the park. There's this guy. Chilling in his dominion. So thank you guys Wait, so much. Wait, hold on, hold on. I have something to say. Okay, what? All right. Guys, I have changed my opinion. I-305 is better than Twisted Timbers. I would rather have the intensity than the ejector airtime. I'm just not a big fan of ejector airtime. Um, it doesn't give me that stomach feeling that I like, and it actually kind of hurts sometimes. Um, and yeah, that's just my opinion, so. Bash me in the comments below for my ejector airtime hating self. But anyways, back to the outro. Peace. Interesting opinion. Um, actually, well, that's pretty much everybody's opinion. So, okay. Um, anyways, that's going to be it for this video at... Um, I almost said Six Flags King's, King's Dominion. No, at King's Dominion. Um, it is a great park. It's not amazing. Um, they have a good top three, um, but other than that, nothing too, too special. Of course, it is very pretty, um, as you can see by the fountains behind me. But yeah, that's going to be it. And that is the last um, park on our little trip that we did to California and Virginia. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace out.